Well, <laughs> you talk about escalating quickly. Welcome to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today, we are in Bluestone View. It's a privately owned um, campground here just outside of the Bluestone State Park here just outside of Hinton, West Virginia. And y'all always want to, a lot of several people say, pan around the campground. Well, this is just, um, these people rent lots and they set their campers up permanently, typically. And a uh, big, pretty good size campground for our area. Not for other parts of the world, but uh, yeah, for our area, it's a pretty good size campground. Um, so we are working on a, I believe it's gonna be an Atwood water heater um, no hot water so uh, she wants it to work on electric so uh, let's uh, I sent uh, sent Bill Hilly in here and uh, uh, he's supposed to be looking around but uh, he didn't take a meter with him so I don't know what he's doing so let's go uh, let's go check on Bill Hilly and uh, see if he's uh, found anything maybe he's already fixed it I don't know let's go check on him all right the water heaters on that's the electric side it lives back in here. There's Bill Hilly. He says he hasn't found anything wrong yet, but he don't know what he's doing, so that could be the issue. So yeah, let's uh, not a lot of room for for you guys and me in here. So I'm not sure how much this I'm gonna get to the video. Let's uh, he's going on coffee break. I'm going to get my meter out and start checking the power. I'm going to have to put my head right where you guys are at. So, I'm not going to be able to video this, but I'm just going to go in there with my meter and start checking power. Because uh, we got a relay in there. Uh, and it's actuated by 12 volt. And it closes the relay and it sends the AC power through the relay to the, to the heating element. Um, i got to see if uh, that's all working. See if the heating element has power on it i mean the heating element could just be burnt out who knows so uh let me start checking i'll report back when i have more info okay uh check the uh the relay back there where the heating element is there was no power coming out of the relay to turn the element on so now we're out here at the board i'm gonna see if uh we have power coming out of the board to close that relay I believe it's going to be it's yellow wire inside I assume it's going to be yellow yeah it'll be yellow here too because this was pre-wired uh, when we ever built the coach bought the water heater so let's see if we got power here I'm not gonna be able to show you the meter I don't think there's nowhere for me to prop it up oh uh, yeah I got a ground I'm gonna go back, back probe this yellow wire No. Let's see here. I believe the brown wire is our power coming into the board. No. Red wire maybe. Do we have any power coming into this board? Am I able to back probe those wires? Those are all questions. We need to ask ourselves. We have no power coming to the board. Oh, there we are, there's 10 volts. That's all. 10 volts. Yeah, only 10 volts on the brown wire. Not sure I can even back probe these. Hmm. 
Might be worth just going to get a board, pop a board in there real quick and see if all of our issues go away. I think that's what we'll do. <sighs> yeah. So what, just for grins and giggles. Let's see if it tries to do anything on gas. Did y'all hear anything? So yeah, he is trying to work on gas. She wants it to work on electric, so let me go cut the gas back off. Uh, just for grins and giggles, I'm gonna pop a board in it. It's uh, it's really hard to check. Oh, that's a different. I gotta go get an adapter. They do make an adapter to change the board from the from the pins to the to the flat connector. So let's pop that baby on there. And then we can plug our wiring in. And we got a place that we can probe and see. See if we actually have power coming out of the board. Only eight volts. Why is the voltage so low? That's probably the issue. Oh, we don't have enough DC voltage. I wonder where we're losing it at. We're losing it somewhere. In the water heater wiring? No, there's nine volts coming in. Um, maybe we don't have a water heater issue at all. Maybe we have a, uh, maybe we have a, maybe we've got a converter issue. I hear the, I hear it humming now. So I bet the heating element is working. Oh, let me, let me go back inside that little hidey hole and see if I can, I'm just gonna probe across the heating element now and see if we have power to the heating element because we didn't we didn't a while ago. So let me go uh, let me go check that and I'll be right back. Well, this has escalated quickly. Uh, went to the converter, checked checked our power coming out of the converter, and actually when I checked it, it was okay. It was like a little over 13. Um, but then. Uh, we turned air conditioner on and the water heater back on because uh, I had turned it off and a couple lights and the voltage went down coming out of the converter down to like 10 volts. So, so I changed the converter, uh, had a huge mouse nest wrap on top of it and there's a grill up there for airflow and uh, mice built a nest right on top of that thing. So they were peeing inside that thing so it didn't have a chance. Um, now I did cut the once I got the converter changed, I cut the water heater back on, and that um, that relay back there is still chattering, going on and off, and on and off. Uh, so I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna just put the old board, pl we'll just plug it up, and see if we have any action on that relay. So that relay might be bad, or we could have a bad wire. There's a lot of mouse signs in this thing. Mice could could have chewed wire up somewhere, so. Um, so yeah, I think if we have to chase that yellow wire from here to the to the relay, because the the yellow wire coming out of the board is the one that energizes the relay, the 12 volt. Um, so yeah, let me uh, let me switch through these boards back around and see if it's still still doing the same thing, which I would expect. Now that we got good power. Or this board could be the old, the old board could be bad. She could have multiple things. We've seen that before, ain't we? Plug our old board back in. I'll leave that right there for a minute. 
Now I'm gonna put that on the back of the truck. Short as my brain is anymore, I might forget it. <laughs> well, it's not chattering. Whether it's a good sign or a bad sign, I'm gonna lay back down there and see if we have power going to the heating element, uh, which I can't show y'all because it's just too small of a hole. I gotta put my old big old melon back in there. I gotta take my hat off, put my big old melon back in there to even uh, check the power. And there ain't room for my melon and you guys. Well, <laughs> you talking about escalating quickly. Uh, good grief. Uh, so we changed the converter, got good power in the coach. Um, and her board, the main control board, is still bad. The heating element's leaking on the back side of that thing, and I'm not 100% sure the relay's good. So I'm like, you know what? It's probably just time to cut your losses. Let's replace the water here. She agreed. So I'm gonna order a water heater. Of course, that's an Atwood. We have to order a Domatic. And uh, yeah, so that'll be that whole fiasco of switching over from an Atwood water heater to a Domatic. But, uh, but yeah, probably video to follow. Uh, it'll be a little while, but uh, cause I'm actually gonna go out of town for a little bit. Of course, that'll be weeks in your past. It's tomorrow in my future, so. Uh, don't y'all uh, don't y'all get lost in your past or your future. Get down in that comment section. Leave me a comment, a criticism, concern. Um, I don't have any signal here, barely any signal. So as soon as I get signal, I'll find out whether I'm gonna do anything else today. And y'all have a fantastic day. And we will catch you next time.